what's up everyone? How's everybody doing today? Doing good here. Thanks for asking. So, today I have another movie review. I do have my trusty notes. Front and back, look at all that. <whistles> Lots to talk about. So, the movie I'm talking about today is Summer of 84. Uh, it came out in 2018. Um, and I'm, I, there's a lot of names in here, and I'm not going to pronounce them correctly at all, so be prepared. It's kind of embarrassing. So, it is directed by, uh, some, some people with some names. A, Enuku, Enuk, Whistle, Francis. Thank you, Samar, Yar, Picar, Car, Wissar, Har, Chamar, Har. Yeah, I didn't pronounce any of that right at all. Guess what? Have normal names. What's up for you dang people? I'm going to get through it anyway. The musical score is done by Lee Matos, or Lee Matos. Or something along those lines. I'm just trying to get through this part. Uh, the main cast is Graham Vershiri or whatever as Davy Armstrong. We have Caleb Amory. Avery <whistles> Amory A M E R Y as Dale Woody Woodsworth. Then we have Judah Judah Lewis as Tommy. Eats, eaten. Then we have Corey Grunter Andrew. Ooh, I don't even know. It's Curtis Faraday. And we have Tierra Scalba. Skel. Lord of mercy is Nikki Kazazuba. So let's continue on with the story, guys. The story. It's set in summer of 1984. Our group of kids find themselves in a real-life murder mystery. Davy has suspicions of his neighbor being a serial killer as kids go missing. He, along with his friends, set out to find the truth. Pretty simple plot synopsis, or as I like to call it, story. Uh, and that's all I'm going to tell you pretty much on that. I don't want to give anything away. And then I'm going to give you my opinion. And my opinion is as such. The movie is pretty decent. It is set in the 80s, which I love. I am an 80s fanatic. I was born in 1971. Uh, but in my opinion, your decade doesn't start until you're around 10 years old. So for me, the 80s, of course I love the 70s too, the music and the movies with Star Wars and Halloween and Rocky and etc. You know, some good movies and some good horror movies up in there as well. Um, but yeah, anywho. Alright. The kids are very cookie cutter. Or should I say the characters. Uh, from the guy next door to the scared nerd. To the overweight kid, to the troubled kid from a bad family, and the hot, slightly older ex-babysitter that all the boys have a crush on. She is okay, I'm going to say. Pretty much everything was done well enough to bring the 80s uh, vibe. The musical score uh, brought some tension and... Uh, some uh, good feelings throughout the movie and it was done pretty decently and let's see although the story was fun you kind of knew what was going to happen yeah you knew pretty much what was going on uh, it was nothing super new uh, for me it was a combination of Stand By Me The Goonies and kind of oddly enough a little bit of Fright Night in there. Uh, I'll let you figure that out 
on your own and make your own comparisons. But I think you're going to find that pretty, pretty uh, common. Uh, the movie flows pretty well, and you find yourself interested enough that the roughly hour and 40 minutes goes by pretty fast. So, that's good. That's always good when that happens. I won't spoil the movie for you, but an event in the last few minutes did actually blow my mind just a little bit. Blew my mind just a little bit. Something I didn't expect, since none of the rest of the movie really surprised me a whole lot. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's something to look forward to. It's pretty decent, and I'll probably watch it again. Um, I'm going to give the movie a solid 3.5 out of 5. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty decent. Um, and it's not because any one thing was bad. It just missed the mark of a 4 or 5 because the story and the characters were really cookie cutter. Um, but like I said earlier, uh, it's a good watch though. And I do recommend watching it. It, 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 it for us kids in the 80s, uh, you know, it's supposed to touch our feelings, I think, a little bit because of just how it's put together. So, yeah. That's my little humble review of Summer of 84. I recommend you watch it and kick back, enjoy it, and leave your comments uh, of what you think of the shocking factor uh, towards the end. Uh, how you felt about it. You'll probably know what I'm talking about. Um, also, thank you for watching my videos. and sub I hope you subscribe. Uh, watch, comment, like, share. Do all that good stuff. Uh, I'm here. I do all this stuff for free because I enjoy it. Um, and I hope to encourage other people to just let loose and ride bikes and play video games and do a movie review or just have a discussion. Anything at all uh, to me is is good. Whenever you can get your mind going and be a little creative and come out and share it with people. So, everyone, don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when you do a movie review. We'll see you later.